Stacey and Keith, quite simply, the current mayor wants a zoning change to allow developers to construct apartments, offices, and retail space. Opponents claim the city is doing too much too fast. Steps away from the City Hall in Oldsmar, there's an empty plot of land. But soon, this could be the site of a five-story apartment building, retail shops, and parking garage. Last year, developers shared their plan in this rendering with City Council. The council and Mayor Eric Seidel support the proposal. One council member, Dan Siraki, does not. Tomorrow, both men face off in the municipal election to be the city's next mayor. Safety Arbor, Dunning, those guys have walkable downtowns. When I want a walkable downtown, I just don't feel we need to go that tall. Tall is only one point of contention. The bigger issue is density. City code allows for 30 residential units per acre. The proposal requires 65 units per acre. So before a vote on the proposal, the city code needs to be amended to allow for increased density. There's never been anybody who's come in to say, yes, I'll do it without a density change. They will build on that property at the current density height. Why haven't they for years? I am not sure. I am positively can't answer that question, but I'll tell you what, as mayor, I'm going to make sure it happens. What do residents have to say? During the first public hearing in December, some were for it, some against. However, a handful of residents told Aid on Your Side, while they had a chance to speak, they could not hear what was happening. The next public hearing is in April, when the density change could become law. City Council has not voted on the proposal yet. Will you commit to holding a town hall before this becomes law so that people can feel heard? I think everybody who wanted to speak that night spoke. We waited to the very end. I don't support changing the process in the middle of the process. If I win mayor, I am going to postpone that. So a lot at stake here. That December hearing, I want to mention again, was packed. People were in the hallway, in the restroom, right up to speakers trying to hear what was happening. Because of that, some folks want an additional meeting. They want to slow this process down. As you heard, the mayor says no. The council member who wants to be mayor says yes. Now keep in mind, the density increase will only be allowed for mixed use buildings. So you add some businesses in there as well. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, how much of the city will the density changes impact though? So it's going to impact about 40 acres downtown and before any specific project is approved there is going to be additional public hearings but a lot of the opponents say that once you approve this density change it's going to open the floodgates. Mm -hmm. mm. All, All right. right. Thanks Masa. Thanks.